Hey, what is going on, Madden family? This is the most depressing video you will see. Maybe all year. Um, easily. Easily, easily, easily. I was sitting here thinking today. I was like, God damn, I'm going through my binder and I saw all these cards that we have. These cards that we've had. Cards that have Sprinter. Cards that just have chemistries on them. Cards that we powered up. Cards that we powered down. Cards that we powered up because they were limited edition, and then we powered them back down after. Cards that we have powered up and are still on the team. And it all comes back to training. Now, when training came in the game, it was very expensive. We know that it was very expensive. Um, super expensive. But the question was, was, was it good, good or bad for the game at the time? And I... Uh, it's, I saw mixed reviews. Um, I've seen people say training has ruined the game. And I thought, has it? Really? Has it? Well, maybe it has. Um, how much training have you spent? Do you know? Do you have any idea? Any idea whatsoever? Probably not. Training right now is around like 20 coins per training. The year started around 70, 75 ish, maybe a little more. And uh, you just realize how much training you actually have. So before I, the, my numbers are not exact either, but I just want, I'm, we're going to scroll through my binder and see that I believe we have put Sprinter on 80 different cards this year so we see cards like adrian amos right here right miles jack leonard fournette joey bosa cam chancellor ty hilton earl thomas brian Erlacher, terrell owens richard sherman terrell davis calvin johnson Antonio brown demario davis anthony munoz jimmy graham Deion sanders dick lebeau eric berry Whew. steve smith anthony barr daniel hunter desmond trufant Kelvin Smith, Jack Tatum, Bruce Matthews, Patrick Peterson. Right, so you guys get the idea. Now, it also costs a lot to power up just cards in general to get them up to their highest power up state. A ton. It costs a ton. Now, some of these is for limited edition stuff, right? Some of it's not. So, like, if we were to take, uh, Shockey, right? You had to pay all of this to get them up here, right? A little over 3,000 training. And as the cards get better and better, there's more and more trading. There are steps for trading and stuff now. It's crazy. It's crazy. But I wanted to think about it as best as possible. How much training have we actually spent? So I went through... Um, I looked at like what my head says it costs to power up cards. And then I tried to like, just rough guess, because I know some of them, I did use training. Some of them, I didn't use training on some of the cards. We've powered down a little bit more. Some we've kept powered up. Some of them were limited editions that we powered up and then powered down. So we got like half of the training back. Um, I hope you're sitting down. Again, my numbers could be wrong. I don't think they're that wrong. For powering up cards, just powering them up and powering them down, I've guessed 436,966 training. Okay. I've guessed another 42,500 on abilities. And again, I said we've done Sprinter on 80 people. That math is easy. That's 80,000 training. Which means, according to my calculations, I've spent 560,000 training. Now, 
How many coins is that? Well, let's, if we bought 560,000 training today, it would cost us 11.1 million coins. We didn't buy it today. What if we would have bought it all in the beginning of the game? It would have cost us 40 million coins. Now, of course, some of this was spread out. Some of it was spent at peaks and some of it wasn't. I think a fair point to put it at, from my calculation, is 40. 40 coins for training. Which means that if training did not exist in this game, the market would be a little different too. So keep that in mind. Uh, we would be 22 million coins richer. Now when we say that coins are easy to get in this game, that's what we mean. That if you thought about how much training you spent in this game, this doesn't count any of the stuff that you've done. You know, when we're doing those platinum packs and stuff, you know, I'm not counting any of that. I'm not counting any of that. Not even counting cards I powered up to elites with training and got rid of them. I don't even have those. I don't, who could have no idea? We're talking about 20, for me personally. Over 20 million coins have been spent on training. If that is not the most depressing thing you have heard today, I don't know what is. It makes me want to cry. 20 million coins. And I know I'm not the biggest offender. There's people out there that have spent way more than I have on training. Way more. If you want to have a, <laughs> a laugh, go back and calculate how much training you've spent. Now, again, at this point, I don't regret it, right? Let me say that. I don't regret it. It's part of the keeping up with the Joneses system of Ultimate Team Games. So I'm, f I'm fine with it, right? If we didn't have training, the values and prices of these cards, some of them would be a lot less because training was holding up the market for a long time. So it's not like I would have had an extra 20 million coins. It probably would have been a lot less than that. Honestly, the, the, the market has been held up by training for a long time, right? Holding the value of worthless cards, giving them a pretty high floor, you know? So uh, would I have had the extra, those coins? No, it'd probably be somewhere around half that, right? Somewhere around half that. But it still is completely depressing. Um... I said I only calculated 54, 53 cards, and then I added an extra 50,000 at the end for a bunch of other stuff that I just assume has happened, you know? Like I powered up TYL, powered him back down. You know, I powered up Steve Smith all the way and I powered him back down, and I had to like pay like 2,500 training for that, you know, stuff like that. It's crazy. It is crazy, 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 crazy. I can't believe it. And I think I valued, um, I counted every ability as an average of 400 training for my calculation as well. So if you guys want to, you know, match up the numbers. I'm not counting, even counting the training we have in our training pile, but it is an uber depressing number. Oh, Lord. Go be depressed. Don't be depressed. It's just a game. It is what it is. But I thought it would be very curious to know and see how bad it is. If you guys want to calculate yours. Um, and not, don't put, like, how much coins you think you've lost. Put how much training based on your guesses. And, like, don't just, like, throw it on a number there. Like, do it a little bit scientific or mathematical um, in the comments below. And we'll see. You know, if I see someone say, I've spent two million, two million training points, like, I don't believe that, right? I know how much I've spent, I know on my team, if you've done more, that's impressive. But just, just, if you want to have fun with it, calculate it, put it out there, otherwise, that's fine. Um, I'm going to put the link to the Q&A form in this video as well. I uh, recorded a gameplay for you guys, so that's probably more Thursday more Thursday, Friday content. So we'll get to that. Um, 
I think that's it. I, I don't really know what else we're really going to be getting for content this week. I uh, assume we're getting playoff cards on Thursday as well. So if not, I'm going to try and be creative. Um, may just take like a slight step back from like trying to like pound out three, four videos a day and just do like one or two while the content is a little slow while we wait for things to pick back up. I don't really want to waste you guys time too much uh, with just randomly trying to be like, oh, here's a video so I can get my views for the day. I hope, I hope you guys understand that and get it. But that is it. Um, wow. Yeah. That's sad. <laughs> so sad. Ooh. <sighs>